in the studio today we have Dr. Uh, Nathaniel Patton. Hello, thank you for having me here. It's, it's a pleasure. Um, so what what kind of uh, what kind of therapy do you do you do? Yes, I'm I'm actually a therapist specializing in relationship counseling. Okay. Uh, through Facebook and social media. Um, Facebook, like we, um, like you, you do therapy through Facebook. Generally, um, what I do is I go on, and I look up people's Facebook pages, and judging by their profile picture, if they need advice, um, I go ahead and give them advice in a message format and just send it to them via messages, and then I send them a bill a month later. So what, um... If I can't really tell a lot from the profile picture, I'll go and stalk their Facebook page. Do you know what I mean by stalk the Facebook page? It's kind of a common thing. You see somebody that you think, oh, well, this person looks kind of needy, so you go into their pictures and you look at their pictures and just see kind of the people that they interact with, um, and then also you're going to see uh, their statuses, you know, maybe even going back to a year year or two beforehand and you just look at all those statuses. Doctor, where did you get where did you get your degree from, by the way? I, I did um, DeVry University online. And what um, was that kind of a, like a two year program or I was there for six weeks, so Okay, well we're gonna take some calls. I was at this party the other night with my boyfriend, and, you know, we were just sitting there, minding our own little business, and, uh, this woman come up, and she's obviously flirting with my man, and, you know, he should say, excuse me, I've got, I've got my lady right here, but instead he just goes on along with it, and, like, I couldn't follow that first instinct to hurt her. How do I get him to care about our relationship as much as I care about our relationship. What I like to call the instinct to physically harm another person is um, animalistic, you know, and it's primitive, but I think us as human beings need to get back to that, so probably the best thing you could have done was pull her hair out of her scalp. That would have been um, my first move against that, that human being. Tell your boyfriend, hey, hey, this is how it is, and then you take his wallet, hopefully, and go buy yourself something nice to reward your bravery. The f I mean, the law, quote unquote, has only been around for, you know, a couple hundred years, really. Animal instincts have been around since the beginning of mankind, but which one is actually more right? You know, think about it. Beth, Beth, is this you, Beth? Hey, yeah. Chris, I'm is just that... me, your boyfriend, calling into your whole radio station you? where you make whole money. You... Let me guess. Let me oh my God. guess. You're over here with Mr. Button Up, probably getting his on. Please, you make money on the street, and here I am at home. I'm honestly not doing much either, but at least I'm not out sucking dick. This is horse. I understand your frustration. I would be very upset if, if my significant other were doing the same. Yeah, I doubt you have um, a significant other. But as far as prostitution, you, you say she's she's going around um, doing sexual acts for money. That is a real career. That is that is a legitimate job. It is hard. You get out there and try it sometimes. Yeah. And trust me, we, we are just doing a radio show here, and that's what's happening. You can yeah. obviously, you've been listening, so you know that we haven't had any downtime to, to do any kind of sexual act. So... She is not fulfilled. Kidding! With you. Apparently, your your genitalia are very small. Oh my god! Um, and you might want to consider enhancement surgery. That's that's my advice on that. Well, thanks for all your help today, man. I really do appreciate it. I'll call you guys later. And I love you, babe.